Good morning, everybody. I'm going to try and be a little more mindful of the <laughs> back of the camera today so that it doesn't get all blurry. I'll probably end up kicking it a few times, though, because I'm that close. So, I just wanted to go over with all my little Huffamaniacs. <laughs> um, the new the new radio here. I'm not happy with this build at all. Well, the box anyway. If you can see in the video, I don't know if you can or not, you can see all those little cracks. It looks like paint on the side of a house, like a cedar house, just shedding away. <clears throat> That's because this was done with one of those 3D printers. Um, at least I, that's what I think, gathering from the way that the guy was talking who, who did the job. And he was talking about how it had to heat up because the first batch that he sent, well, the only batch that I have, all the letters started coming off because they have to be very hot when he, when he carves them out. And it wasn't hot enough, so I got them, and I'm, I'm checking the letters out, and they're falling off. So he's going to print me four or five more, but he's telling me it takes eight hours to do each box. That's not very time-consuming for him or, or me, and um, I'm going to end up having to pay for that in the end. And I think I paid 20 bucks a box, which isn't all that bad. I can get that back throughout the sale, but that's a lot of work, and how long is he going to want to be doing that if, you know, if people keep buying them? That's not a lot of money for him for eight hours. So I think that I'm going to have to start looking for an alternative, but with the boxes that I've got... I'm going to just have to make them work. Now, I was drilling these, and as I was drilling them, it was heating up the composite, and it was cracking. And to drill the holes for the top buttons, I had to use a, a larger hole here. And even though I, I stepped up the hole size, you know, bits, it cracked right, right here on one of them. I ruined two of them, and I have two left, and he's going to send me four more. This one isn't bad, it's okay. It will probably just be, you know, it's, it's my draft box, it's not really the way I wanted it. I've got the speaker sitting at an angle so I can get air behind it because I didn't leave myself enough room for the, for the speaker to go in the front. I have since found another way to make these boxes work and I'll show you that in a second and that's by heating them. I took a glue gun and I just let it heat right through top. All, every hole is a, is a heat gun and I just let it melt through. And then I took a piece of metal and I heated that up and I kind of branded it like a horse. It's a little crooked still but with the part in there and some filler you'll never, you'll never see that. that. That's as straight as I could make it without it being precise with the machine, which I don't have. But you'll never see that that's a little crooked when I put the parts in there and, and fill it in with a little bit of uh, black glue. So this is going to be the next build, which I think I'll be, I'll be pretty happy with. I painted it matte black. And this is how it sounds. I've already gone ahead and tuned in my channels. Now, your success with this radio is going to rely on the clarity of your stations, your area, your antenna. I've got an external antenna on this right now. I haven't, I haven't um, used too many different kinds of antennas to test. Right now, I'm just using a wire, and it looks like it looks like a eight foot antenna is the best way. So, in order to get an eight foot antenna on here, you won't want a great big telescoping antenna. I'm going to have to put leads one here one here probably in the back and then I'm just gonna wrap eight feet of wire and it's just gonna wrap around wrap around and I think that's what I'm going to do so here's what it sounds like without any effect and the speaker isn't close it's not close where I would want it so it may sound a little different than the last time in the new one I'll, I'll mount that speaker right up here and that sound will come out And I've got it scanning pretty slow right now. 
as you can see, I can do a silent scan, and it will only stop on those channels that it actually selected as being the clearest. I don't think that that's probably the best way to use the box, but that is one way that it works. And then as you crank up the dial a little more, see it starts scanning a little faster. I kind of like it right there. And you could add a little reverb. I wouldn't add a lot of reverb on here because I've tried three boards and the reverbs all suck. Um, unless you're buying a pedal and putting it on there, putting it on there, you know, something that's decent. The reverbs that are built into these boards, they all pretty much suck. That's shit. But, anywhere from a quarter to about half, it sounds pretty decent. And I don't put a lot on there at all. Right about here. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and ask the spirits who's here and helping me. There's always a truck. Always a truck. <laughs> who's helping? Lewis? Have you used this box with me yet, Lewis? I don't think I've used this with Lewis yet. Can you give me, on a scale of 1 to 10, how easy is this for you to use? See, 11 and a half. <laughs> What do you think about this radio? But there's no static. The only static that you're hearing is the vibration of the speaker from being in the wrong place. I'll take it apart eventually and fix it. I'll probably make it more like this one if I can. I'll just drill the holes out or melt the holes out a little more. How many spirits are in the shop with me right now? Let's go ahead and... I like it right up there. And for every location, you're going to probably have to hit this button, you hold it for three or four seconds, and recalculate its, its, um, its area. Just, just let it do its thing. It takes about 30 seconds. That's right. So I was using this at home, and I had about 30 channels coming in. I brought it here, I did the same thing, and I'm getting about the same. Maybe more. 31. 32. Yeah, I'm getting 33 channels. That That's really good. Um, some places I only get 10, but the spirit can use it. No matter if it's 10 or if it's 30, they can use it. And as long as it's clear, it doesn't matter. So that's the radio. That's how it sounds. It's small. It's uh, six by four by three. It fits right in your hand. I don't know if I'm going to put... Somebody told me to put a handle on it at one time when I first started using it. I don't know where to do that. <laughs> um, I've got the battery on the back. And it takes four Duracells, and those Duracells last, with a ton of use so far, about a month. 
I just changed the batteries out. And you'll know that it needs a change because when they get weak, the reverb will start whistling. You'll turn it up and it'll just start screeching. You'll be like, what the fuck's wrong with the radio? It's the batteries dying. And the reverb will let you know that. You'll, you'll go to turn up the volume and it'll just go... <laughs> and it took me a while to figure it out. I took the whole thing apart and I was like wiggling wires. And I'm like, oh my god, the batteries have been here for like a month. Let me change them. And that was it. So this is why I use things for a long time before I even sell it to anybody. I don't, I don't want to have any problems. And I've only had one issue with one radio so far that I've built in, in a year and a half. And that was because UPS was uh, manhandling the package and the speaker actually broke. It, it fell right, right, off the, uh, right off the mount. I don't know if it was being shaken or what or... expanded and the screw came out but that was it so I fixed that for free he paid shipping back and that was it Lewis there's Lewis <clears throat> thank you Lewis Lewis let's talk about Tom for a minute do you mind You guys don't get along with Tom, is that correct? Yes or no? Is that a yes? Does Tom need help going somewhere? I don't think Tom needs help. But if he does need help and you guys don't get along, I always said I wouldn't interfere. But I will if it will make everybody else happy. If Tom needs help going somewhere, I need Tom to help to tell me that he needs help going somewhere. Otherwise, you guys can stay the way the way you are, the way it is. And I'll never ask again. Twenty nine. Tom, do you need help going somewhere? I mean, I totally understand, you know, that, that when you die, you are still you. The time period that you lived in is all you know. So... For these guys to not like each other, for Tom to be a black man in the late 20s, early 30s, I totally get the history. I, I totally understand it, and I don't hold that against these guys, and I don't, I don't try to, to tell them that they should act another way. I, I just don't do that. But if Tom needs help going somewhere, I will help him find guides. I will help him... Go forward, I will help him leave this place, but I think Tom chose this place on his own. And I don't have a problem with Tom. So stay. Tom, do you want to stay or do you need to leave? So you want to stay with so you want to stay with me, or did you say you want to stay with who, who, what? Because there's no favoritism. Well, there is a little favoritism, but I, I have, I have no ill quarrels of you staying here. Jasper and Lewis may, but that's totally you guys. That that's all you guys. You deal with that how you need to deal with that. Some. 
I'll go back and listen. I'll see if I heard anything. Nothing will happen today if there is something that needs to happen. But I will listen back and see if anything needs to be done. Jasper Lewis, you let me know. Tom, you let me know. George is here. George is in and out. There's no problems with George that I know of. I think everybody gets along there. George, are you around? You can take your... Hmm. Okay, that's it everybody. I'm going to end this video. That's the radio. That's the box. Um, I did order a plastic box, which is pretty much the same size, maybe a little longer, not by much. And, you know, it, it cost me uh, $5 less than these, so maybe that will work best. Maybe I can drill it better. As for this little square, I don't know in any kind of plastic what I'm going to have to do to make that work. Because I, I kind of like the fact that that shows. And there is a little red light in here that you probably can't see right now. And it will pulsate with the speed. So I'll try and have that show up too. Just so you know. But it's, it's not about gadgets and whistles, this thing. It's just about clear reception. And I think I've accomplished that with it. It took months. I think it's about as clear as I'm ever going to be able to do <laughs> without using an app or creating my own files. And um, this will go inside of my antique boxes when I decide to put a radio into them. Okay, everybody, thank you for coming through. Jasper, Lewis, Tom, if you came through, thank you guys. Thanks for helping. This weekend, our job. Your job. Thank you. Bye.